other than the one click blur the intensity of the blur can be changed too we'll go through different kinds of examples and show in detail how all the options work the drawbacks of the tool and add effects like tilt shift lens effect the new blur tool in lightroom After opening the image in Lightroom app, you can see the main menu here. In the middle is the edit menu and here you can get the new blur tool. Just tap on it to get these options which as you can see is still in early access, still in testing phase. Here you have the slider for blur amount, 5 types of bokeh effects below, change the focus type and also the mask view to visualize depth. To add blur, just slide the blur amount slider a little and this will connect to the cloud. It will visualize the depth of field using AI, sets focus and gives you the result. Now you can tune the amount of blur you need. Click this icon to visualize the depth. The whitish areas are more focused and the darker you go, the more blur it becomes. Here you can change the mode of focus from subject which it is now to point where you can manually adjust the focus. Just move the pointer where you need to focus and it will change the depth of field accordingly. Here is a better visual representation with mask switched on. Here you can change the bokeh style. The 5 styles as described by Adobe themselves. You can play with this and choose which is better for you. We'll show another example here. You can see the main subject leaning on a wall. We'll see how the AI comes out with the focus range here. As you can see, the results are very good here. The focus range seems natural too. Works too good, I would say. Even the edges around the hair looks natural. Need to be more careful while changing the focus though. It may not look good, but reducing the blur strength will make it look better. Another example this time on this flower. The AI detection works well here too. So after increasing blur, this is the maximum blur you can reach. If you want more blur, you need to save this image and import the saved image. Apply the blur for more blur. Here's another example with a rose which works as intended. Now we have this flat looking image and try adding depth of field here. Here's the result. The focus area here, you can see it works fairly well here too, though it doesn't work on minute details, for example the sign here where it is in the same focus distance. Here's another example on dark setting with the night lights. It works fairly well here too. Here's a good example to show the different types of bokeh. You can notice the change in styles of the night lights here. On a busy photo like this, there is still room for improvement though. 
The focus fields are a little messy. You can add tilt shift lens effect too. This works better on images with a higher point of view. We'll reduce the exposure a bit first, then add blur to this. We'll change to point focus and move the focus point somewhere here to get this tilt shift effect or the miniature looking effect. the before and after. Hope you all found the tips in the video useful and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.